Serve or die. I don't care if the others like you. Simple as. Oh, he gave me cannon. Oh, I'm dead though. I'm trolling. Keck. Oops. The fuck? He's got his mythic. I didn't know. I thought I was okay. I didn't even realize the guy had a mythic. I was literally expecting him to do no damage. When I bust, I got her back. Oh, I went berserk, blocking that she put in twerk Run it back, on run my it back. face so I can slurp. Let's go. What's poppin'? It's your boy Dragasai, and we out here with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about this new build order, okay? If you've been having trouble on Echo, you feel like, oh, he's really weak early. Oh, I can't get to late game. I can't carry. Then this is the video for you, okay? Uh, shout out to Norbies from the Echo Discord. They're the one who kind of put us on to this build so uh, definitely a big shout out and I'm just gonna kind of show you how I'll be using the build and why I think it's better than just our standard you know rocket belt into Nashers slash Lich into decap all right all right and without further ado show you the build right so right here on the side I have our ruins and masteries and real quick I'll just say um, we are rushing Nashers tooth right so we are, you know, we already know the components are not the best components, but it's okay because this is Echo's weakest state of the game anyways. Regardless of what you build here, you're gonna suck. This champion sucks. <laughs> Before you have an item, this champion sucks. So it really doesn't matter. This is probably the best part or best point of the game to build Nashville Tooth, right? You're gonna suck regardless. Uh, but let me just talk about the ruins first. So standard new age Echo ruins, time is money. Um, we have first strike because it just makes way too much money and does some decent two damage. Like I've ended games with like 2,000 uh, gold in my pocket. It, it, mastery is insane, the rune is insane. Um, we, that's why, sorry, it's getting nerfed soon. So I'll let you know in the comments um, if after the nerf it's still good for this. If not, you can of course go to Electrocute and Treasure Hunter and get Absolute Focus, Guiding Storm and Blue Tree secondary, but whatever, I'll cover that later. Um, so yeah, Free Boots is our next Check one we're gonna out. get here, because free 300 gold, the movement speed doesn't matter, it's just free gold, that's what we like. Uh, futures Market, so you can get your items a bit faster, and we have Cosmic Insight, because nothing in there matters really, and because we're not ever building Corrupting Potion, because 500 gold is a lot of money, and again, we're a slow starter, so we do whatever we can, to get to our first item as quickly as possible so our team can stop playing 4v5 you get me right okay so on the second the blue tree we're gonna get gathering storm and we're getting absolute focus and we, of course we have two ap shards and in addition to your blasting wand your amp tome your dark seal and your dorn's ring you'll have enough ap you have like maybe one 15, 120 something like that and you'll be able to one shot the casters at level 7 you have to have all of it so you have to be above 78 uh, percent HP you have to have all those items you have to have two AP shards and don't be behind in level of course because then the mains will level up and you won't one shot it anyways so that's what you have to do with this build to one shot the wave at level 7 I know it's kind of tedious but like if you're really sick at echo it's, it's not that hard it's not that big of a deal and then you're gonna finish your Nash's Tooth and you're gonna go straight into Death Cap. And this is when you're gonna start doing damage. When you finish Nash's Tooth, you'll feel the damage. And then when you start building the purple sticks, you're gonna start really feeling the damage. Um, because we're not worried solely about one-shotting, but more so just doing the damage we can and sticking onto people. You know, with the Nash's autos, with the fact that we have more AP, so our W has a bigger shield for us to stay in longer. Um, the more AP we build, the more you start realizing this is a bit more useful as we're not looking at one shot, we're just trying to contribute damage, which is a bit better than being useless after pressing Rocket Belt, right? So you finish your death cap, and this is where the build really goes into full throttle. Um, you have the choice of building Void Staff here or Rocket Belt. I know most people are like, but I want Rocket Belt. I've, I haven't held my Rocket Belt in so long, I need it. No, you don't, okay? Be strong, be powerful. We don't need Rocket Belt here, okay? Um, you can build it, right? But if they're stacking MR, you're gonna build Void Staff, you get me? Because think about this, right? If you did Nashers, sorry, if you did Rocket Belt into Nashers, into Death Cap, and they started stacking MR, what happens? They buy Ma, or which time what happens? You suck, you're useless. That's why here, we're building Void Third. That's the reason we do this build. So you have Nashers, 
You have decap, so you have tons of damage in comparison to Rocket Nash, which is really not that much damage. And then you have Void. So you do damage and you penetrate the MR. Right? If you were Rocket if you're a Rocket Nash Death Cap, you're not gonna do any damage because they have MR. So that's the reason you do this build. It's the versatility of the build. And that's what Echo has been lacking for a while, right? So like really, versatility and echo build, he has one build and his rocket Nash decap void into whatever, right? Pretty boring. But now we have a we have a bit more, you know, a bit more leeway with what we want to build on Echo. So again, you can get Rocket Bell here, you can get Void here. You'll probably want to get the other after that. And then you can get your Lich Bane last or Nashers if you didn't build Lich or Nash first. But like please build Nash first. It's not gonna work as well with a uh, Lich first here. Um but yeah, you can build whatever you want after this. It's really up to you. My full build recommended is um, Nash into Decap into Rocket or Void, depending on what you need. I more often build Void, honestly, here, but whatever. Rocket Void, and then I get a Lich Bane. And if I'm doing really good, I might have Medjai's, so I might sell my boost for the Lich Bane. Um, so that's up to you, right? And lastly, I'm just gonna touch on the top lane experience real quick because I actually do be playing uh, echo top lane with this build. I think it's really good. Um, Nashor's Tooth means you can kind of just duel anybody in the top lane. You have a lot of damage with just your passive and you just run away and you land the shield so you don't take any damage. You don't have rocket belt so you don't have to worry about going in on every 30 seconds and oh I didn't burst them, one shot them so I'm useless. No, you have Nashor's Tooth so you just beat them up bro. You just beat them up. If you get them to like 30, like 50% uh, HP in one combo you could probably just stand on top of them and uh, bait them into your R that you probably didn't level up because you're an Echo main and you do the Jalau ban tech, you know. So do that and then when they're low, you just beat them down with your 30% autos passive and your uh, Nashor's Tooth, you know. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. You can you can take the your Gromp, you can take the enemy's jungle, you just kind of farm, push the tower and dive under the tower. Take all the, like the towers are worth a lot of money too. So if you put that together, like free kills, free farm, free jungle, and then you're split pushing towers, you can take Rift Herald as well. You put all those together, you get a lot of money in the top lane if you know what you're doing. Um, so I I wouldn't say do it if you're a beginner, but if you know your melee combos again, then try, you know, maybe try it out. I will have the video, uh, my echo combo video in the description below if you, want to check that out you don't know some of these combos but you know you can definitely check it out mid or sorry check it out top lane just if you feed it's not my fault you just suck okay because like it's really it's, it's not bad like unless you go into like there like darius or something which you can't really do unless you have alt you have you just have to know the matchups and ah uh, ban fior like if you play against fior you lose. just ban it all right um with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This new build has been working really well for me and some of the other people in the Echo Discord, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, you know, get that LP. Let's get Echo nerfed, because he's so good now with this build, <laughs> right? Please buff him. Um, and yeah, you know, I'll see y'all in the next video. Enjoy.